Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bastiana Joyce. If you are new here, hello and welcome. I'm just parked up, um, literally, um, at my local park because I feel like nature is where I am able to think clearer. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. These are my current views. I just wanted to come on here and just do a quick like video just a quick life update before I start uploading again just so that I can I guess get acquainted with YouTube again but also to let you guys know where I'm at where I stand with like my whole content creating life and like just my life in general and like whatever's been going on so that you guys feel like up to date obviously if you watch me and like you know i'm someone that you watch on a red line you're actually interested in my life and like what i do and stuff i just want to make sure everything's cohesive and that like you know you guys know me and like what's going on and like you know the things that i'm trying to do in life so hopefully this video provides some kind of clarity not that there's much going on um but obviously if you're interested in this video then please do comment like subscribe um i'm currently on 677 subscribers if i'm not wrong so literally like only 327 subscribers away from 1k and it's like i need to be hitting that 1k because i've been on youtube for way too long to not be on 1k subscribers yet so please kindly subscribe okay please <laughs> so life update so i don't even think there's like much to like update you guys on but i think the last time i posted was about around this time last year perhaps um so obviously um early last year i lost my grandparents um literally in the space of like a month and i feel like i'm gonna do like a whole youtube video on that but for my other channel mindful of joy so if you're not following that follow it if you want like more in-depth like emotional conversations like just i guess just open honest vulnerable conversations will definitely be had more on that channel so if that's your kind of vibe and you're into like you know emotional shit and you're just down to talk about your feelings and how you feel and you know listening to that to those kind of perspectives then do follow mindful of joy because when i obviously get settled on youtube and when i feel like i have the time i will definitely be creating more content for that channel um and just you know really be building like my mindful of joy brand which will be obviously like more to do with psychology coaching and positive psychology and all that good stuff so if that's something you're interested in then do subscribe i'll leave um the link somewhere within this video or down below in the description box um so yeah i'll be i guess doing a full youtube video episode on you know grief and dealing with it and you know post-traumatic experiences because grief is like it's actually no joke like losing a loved one but like a loved one like someone you really loved is really tough you know like it's really really tough and i feel like you know more of these conversations should be had um just to make sure that we're not alone because you know we're all going to lose someone at some point in our lives and you know i think it's really important to be able to have like these kind of conversations and like not shy away from them because it's something we're all going to experience um so yeah my grandparents died and i think obviously i took i guess a few some time off i don't i don't i don't really remember how long but i really like stopped posting completely like whether it was youtube instagram i wasn't posting anywhere and i did that for some time and then i came back on youtube which will be the most recent videos that you lot see so like um the video i did with my sister um the post quarantine try on haul whatever i don't know like all those videos that you can see like within the last year um those are the videos i posted last year after like losing my grandparents and i felt like i was doing okay and i felt like you know i was in that space again to start create creating because i felt like i'd just gone through like this huge traumatic experience and i felt like i just i just i was just learning so much about myself and like who i was as a person and like my beliefs and like i was just constructing like a new meaning for my life and i felt like you know i was ready to like start posting again so i, I was doing that and you know it was going well i was loving the quality of like my videos and stuff because i think i just started using my new camera as well so like the quality was amazing like i was loving like the quality of my of my youtube videos so it was really getting me excited like to get back into content creating um 
Oh yeah, I even forgot to say, like I went through a really traumatic experience as well, like last year, which was so depressing. And I think maybe that's what stopped me from, I think that really contributed to like why I wasn't posted. So I had like this whole like family situation where I was getting accused of things that I didn't do. And it was just a really depressing time. Like I lost so much weight and I wasn't eating, I wasn't sleeping. Like it was just a really horrible time. And I feel like that really pushed me to the edge, like really. And I feel like that might have been, I guess the biggest factor in why I even stopped like doing anything. And like, I just went completely like, yeah. Um, but I definitely forgot to mention that yeah I, was, I went through a really traumatic experience with a family member and I will be speaking more about it on my Mindful of Joy Good channel guys, when I feel comfortable to do so um, I quit my job <laughs> So I'm not sure, I'm not sure at what point, like during obviously the YouTube videos that I posted, at what point I quit my job, but I quit my job around May last year, um, shortly after losing my grandparents. To be honest, I don't really remember the time, the timeline too tough, but I also quit my job and this job was a... I guess it was like obviously my 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 bread like it was my bread like it was my income like it was something that I relied on heavily to get through life and this is my full-time job I was earning like 25k um and yeah it was I guess a good job financially for me at that point like it was something that allowed me to be stable um so then I quit because I hated it I absolutely hated the job so I was a tech expert at Enjoy Technology and yeah I just hated it like I've always been in like tech customer service kind of roles like I've always done some form of like either tech or customer service or hospitality like that's always been like the field that I was in and I just really didn't like it anymore like I really just I don't think I ever liked it to begin with I think I just got into it because like those are just the jobs that I'd always get accepted into so I've always like had like a waitressing job or I've always had a mobile like retail um sales assistant role like I've always just been in that kind of I guess um field i don't know if that's the, the terminology but i've always found myself in that but i just i just grew to hate it so much and with my job like with that job anyway like it was something it was 40 40 hours a week and it spread across obviously um four days but don't, those four days were just like you had to bid for your shifts like you had to bid whichever what days you'd be working so i could be working like three sundays in a row or three saturdays in a row like weekends like all the time and i didn't want that um it was very sales focused as well like i hate selling like i hate selling especially when it's selling something that i don't give a heck about like selling phone cases selling insurance selling um broadband all of that stuff that i really just don't give a heck about like i really don't care about anything other than like customer service like and that's one thing that I guess I learned from that situation was that I'm really big on customer service like I'm really big on like just providing that kind of space for the customer like just being friendly and like you know being warm and stuff like that like most of my feedback was always like just super good I always got like nearly 100% on my NPS scores I've won awards for it and everything because like my customer service scores are just so like excellent like i'm not even like trying to brag but like literally my skill is in customer service i don't like selling i don't like sales and obviously i was getting targeted on sales so i can't be good at customer service and not sell that's just not going to work for the company they didn't like that so within like my my progress reviews and stuff like that like targets what was obviously always the topic of conversation and how i wasn't meeting my targets so now in, in my head i'm just like bro like i really don't care like and i know sooner or later they were gonna have to let me go because i wasn't meeting targets because i really just didn't care i wasn't even trying to i wasn't trying because i didn't care i don't want to sell shit like i don't want to like force things down customers throat like i'm just there to provide them with a service help them set up their phones 
and just be friendly to them like that's all I really wanted out of the job and get paid for it and go home at the end of the day didn't want to be thinking about this extra stuff that you have to do like I was just so over it and I was in the job for two years and I was just like nah like I actually need to get out of this I've graduated from uni I've got my degree like I'm really wanting to pursue some kind of career in like psychology mental health all of that stuff um so I was like I'm definitely in the wrong field like I shouldn't be here I shouldn't be doing this so I just decided to quit because I was just so depressed like it was just so hard for me to go to work like it was just so horrible um and obviously I miss like losing two very important people in my life I was just like fuck it like life's too short sorry for my language I'm actually trying not to swear as much but I was like no like life is way too short is my hair looking white and grey yeah I was like my life's way too short for me to like be you know depressed because of a job like i'm just gonna quit so i just quit like literally went in one day and i literally told him i'm not coming back <laughs> into work i literally told him i'm gonna work today because it'd be tight because a lot of people were leaving and a lot of people were just leaving like they wouldn't say anything they just leave like they they wouldn't even care to like address it with the manager and i actually had an all right relationship with the manager although like a lot of people didn't like him but we were we were cool like we had a decent relationship so i didn't want to do that to him i was like listen i'm gonna work today like i'm not just gonna like leave you hanging dry today because i know it'd be hard for you to get cover right now um but i'm not coming back essentially like i'm not coming back i'm gonna take some holidays like whether you like it or not i'm gonna take my holidays that i have remaining and i'm not coming back into work and i just told him literally like i'm just going through it like my mental health is just not there and i just really don't like the job anymore it's just not something i want to do um so i quit that and then i was unemployed for like a month i was unemployed um and i was like so determined to like get into the field of like psychology mental health and um, support like just yeah just in the in the health sector and the health and well-being sector is where i wanted to be like i was like no nah, like i actually didn't graduate for no reason i didn't get a first in my degree for no reason for me to be working as a bloody technical expert like what the heck is that absolutely not i had like my next payday to look forward to and then that was it i was not gonna have any money to run so i had to like definitely find something as soon as possible so i was looking for a job and um yeah i eventually managed to get like a job in um i guess therapy assistance and like um support working essentially um i was working with um i guess on a i was working on a self self-employed basis with a company who helps um i guess um vulnerable individuals um i guess cope in life and help them into the community and do like day-to-day -day things um so i was working with a girl a young girl who had um a who had a brain injury um and other things as well so i was essentially her support worker like i'd go out in the community with her i'd you know go do a shopping with her take her to do things for her appointments i'd help her with her like um tasks like her you know because she would get pips just helping her become more independent and live a more independent life that's what i was there to help her with and i'd also go to like therapy um therapy appointments with her like she'd see a physiotherapist she'd see a psych psychiatrist she'd see a psychologist neuropsychologist she'd see an occupational therapist she'd see her caseworker like she'd see so many people and i would essentially be there to obviously she'd also see a speech therapist as well so i would be there to kind of um not mediate but mediate so i'd be her support person you know through all of that so i really enjoyed that job um it was really good as in like you know it was you know i guess my first steps into really figuring out what i want to do in the field of like psychology and like my career and stuff um so that was good i really did enjoy it and we built like such an amazing bond like me and the girl like she was essentially like my little sister like my little friend <laughs> um and i know that she saw me as like one of her close friends as well because she didn't really have friends and like you know i was the only person really outside of like her family that she could you know speak to and tell things to so you know it really was sad when it had to come to an end um, but I really loved that job in a sense of like because of the relationship that we built with each other but as the as the role in itself I didn't like it I didn't love it like I didn't like not having I guess a structure it was only part-time 
and um yeah it was only part time so i'd only go in whenever i was needed and some days she'd call in sick and like obviously that would mess up my pay not call in sick but like she'd like not want me to come in because she's not feeling well um so obviously that would mess up my pay because i wouldn't get paid for certain days obviously i'm self-employed um and with the whole self-employment process it was just a hassle like having to send invoices and like wait ages for me to get my pay it was just not a nice situation obviously i've got bills to pay and I'm waiting on like payments for anyways it was just like such a sticky situation it was just um yeah it just wasn't an ideal situation it was a good job for me to start off with um but it was it wasn't something that I could I guess carry on into the long term like it wasn't sustainable for me I was in that job for about six months and then I started looking for another employment another role um yeah i started looking for another role and had to leave the girl that i was working with which was so sad um but eventually i got offered a new role i got offered a new position which is the position i'm in now so i'm currently working as a health and well-being advisor and um yeah full-time basis monday to friday which is perfect and you know pay is decent so it's like feel like i'm on the right path and you know things are making sense and you know it's only going to go up from here so my current role involves like working with benefit claimants and supporting them with their mental health so if they have any current like mental health barriers that's like preventing them from you know gaining employment which is something very prevalent like it happens like it's happened to myself I'm sure like you know being so demotivated demoralized depressed and anxious and overwhelmed by like financial responsibilities and being un unemployed that can really like prevent you from even looking for jobs that can prevent you from putting your best foot forward like within applications and like interviews and stuff so it can really become a barrier into a person's employability so mental health is something that you know should be taken seriously in any kind of capacity um, but definitely in the I guess employed unemployed um, I guess um, aspects of things because it can make or break obviously someone's financial situation um so that's what i currently do i offer people like one-to-one -one support and i also deliver like workshops um in regards to like different topics of well-being such as like managing their anxiety stress awareness being mindful physical activity understanding food and this was something that really scared me in the beginning like when i first started the job like i was so scared to like do workshops and like have to present to people because it's nothing i've ever done before so i was just so scared i hate like public speaking and like being the center of attention while I, like being the person that everyone's paying attention to like i just hate that like, i hated the notion of that i just used to get so scared and like frightened and, like it's just something i was super uncomfortable about but got into the role did it and it's something that it's almost like second nature to me now so I feel like God really put me in this position for a reason I feel like I've learned so much in this role and I feel like obviously I still have a lot to learn but I feel like this role was really beneficial for me and I feel like God is really like right in my past I feel like I'm really like like I feel like I'm really like on the right path I'm making the right decisions for myself and like I'm in the right positions essentially like that's what I feel like and I feel like the job that I'm in now like it was really like a gift from a gift from God because I feel like it's really opened my eyes further into what it is that I would actually like to do and lo and behold I no longer want to be in this job <laughs> I no longer want to be in this job I'm definitely looking for um, other positions I don't want to deal with like the disorders and illness side of like mental health that's what I've come to realize because I find that it is very draining and it's very taxing although it is rewarding and you know you're supporting people who actually need it and you're giving people advice you're giving people that space to be vulnerable and like all those things like it's obviously a great job to be in but it's just not the job for me I've come to realize that I am definitely more on the positive side of psychology and I'm more you know I guess more about the motivational side and like what we can do to flourish what we can do to self-actualize and become the better versions of ourselves and that's something that i've also learned as well through my 
degree um i think i guess last september like i was also I was, yeah last september i think it was around the period yeah i was just super confused about what i was doing so i'd recently got this job as like the therapy assistant and i was like nah like what am i what should i be doing what can i be doing and obviously i was working part-time so i was like nah i need to be doing more i need to figure out my life I need to figure out my next move what am i doing and the first thing that came to mind was doing a master's like why did I choose to do a master's but that's what I chose to do and I started looking for courses and all of a sudden I saw this really good course that I'd never seen before and it just made so much sense for me to like get on it and I literally literally the 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 the, the course was starting in September and I applied in September and I got in I was like nah this can't be like this can't be real so I applied to do um, applied positive psychology and coaching psychology so it's a master's in obviously um, social sciences yeah so I got in um, and I am currently a master's student I'm doing a master's <laughs> I'm doing a master's essentially um, so I applied in September I got I got the offer in September but then I had to I deferred my place until January because my working situation my employment situation was still very much confusing I still didn't know what I was doing where I was going and I was in the midst of like looking for other jobs and like going to interviews and stuff like that so I didn't want to commit to like full-time studies without knowing what my employability was going to look like so I deferred my place to start in January and by that time I'd already started my current role as the health and well-being advisor so I'm currently working full-time and I'm studying full-time which I wouldn't recommend anyone to do because it's a lot like although I really you know I enjoy my job and I really love my course I just feel like obviously both are very demanding on a full-time basis um but for me i just wanted to get it out of the way i feel like i am 25 26 soon so i don't feel like i have a lot of time to really be taking things slow i feel like i need to be doing things um and, and you know really preparing myself and organizing myself organizing my life and you know trying to get stuff right um so that's why i decided to do it for a year so that next year i can then focus on establishing something else now that i've got the degree out of the way um so yeah i'm doing a full-time master's course and i'm working full-time and i really do like my master's course it's fun um it's really opened my eyes to a lot of things like it's really really opened my eyes in a sense where like i know exactly who i want to be in my career and that is a coach like i'm really like into the idea of becoming a life spiritual well-being coach um and just supporting people and like becoming the better versions of themselves like supporting people on working on themselves like I feel like with obviously mental health there is a lot of focus on you know disorders ill health and you know helping people make sense of like their past and like their traumas and the things that have happened which is all good i think obviously that is an essential part of health and like you know that has to be explored um you know throughout the course of someone's life and you know i definitely do feel like we have to go through that stage to then be able to be in the space to flourish and like want to do better and make changes and stuff um but i just personally don't feel like i can work in that sector anymore i just feel like again it's very draining and like who i am in itself like i'm a very spiritual person i feel like i'm always like you know just deep in thought and i'm always like looking for ways to like change and be better and like just flourish like i always just want the best for me and like the people around me i want the best for us not in like a material sense but like in a personal development sense like i just want everyone to like really be in touch with like who they are like at the core and really tap into that and just be the best you like do you know what i mean i just want you to be the best you i want me to be the best me and you to be the best you so that's always just always that's always just been my vibe and in my therapy assistance job i used to work with like loads of like obviously psychologists from different sectors so occupational psychologists speech therapists psychology speech like speech psychologists i don't know neuropsychologists like i worked with a lot of professionals in the field and you know i had this idea that i was going to go into clinical psychology and be an assistant psychologist and then go on to do my phd and stuff like that and through working with those people i just realized that that's really not something that i'm wanting to do like 
their jobs is just something that I just completely don't want to do and you know it's even gonna sound bad saying that but I just feel like they get paid a lot of money for not really doing a lot really had this idea that I was gonna go into clinical psychology after uni and I couldn't think of anything worse right now <laughs> like literally that job really opened my eyes the current the current job that I'm in opened my eyes and doing this master's really opened my eyes into you know really what profession I'm wanting to go into and that is being a coach I'm really into coaching people and coach myself most importantly to like you know just be the best version of myself and you know I really want to motivate people and give people the resources to do that for themselves as well so that's where I stand at the moment and obviously it's not been easy like like I said it's really hard um I don't feel like the masters in itself is hard I really just feel like it's the demand that it has on my time like it's really time consuming and demanding and obviously I am doing a full time I am working full time as well so it is a lot to manage at the moment it's very stressful I've broken down numerous times like there's been days where I've just walked out of the house and just gone for a walk and cried because like I was just that overwhelmed and you know I just really felt like giving up a lot of the times but you know I just power through because what else can I do? Do you know what I mean? I actually just have to get on with it. Um, so it has been really hard, but I've been working through it. And I guess that's one of the reasons why I haven't really been active on like social media and like posting my content and stuff like that, because, you know, I just don't want to put more pressure on myself than I already have like I'm already working full-time I'm studying full-time and it's like you know putting pressure on myself in regards to content creating and you know creating videos and YouTube and Instagram and looks and stuff like that like it's just not a priority right now there's other things that need more of my attention than creating content so I never want to put too much pressure on myself because it's just like it's just not it's not realistic do you know what I mean I'm not superwoman like I can't do a gazillion things all at once and you know that's why I haven't really been posting I've just been chill and like calm about it I've always just told myself like I'm gonna create when I can create like I'm gonna get back to YouTube when I can like I'm I'm not in a rush like you know what will be will be and you know I know that I've been inconsistent with like you know posting and you know creating like I haven't been you know the most consistent person but i'm not gonna put pressure on myself i'm not gonna allow like you know the outside to like dictate what i do with like my creativity or like my career and stuff like that so i'll create when i want to create and when i can create and that's just the kind of energy that i've had throughout this whole thing and that's why i haven't posted because i just haven't had time and i'm not gonna pressurize myself and overwhelm myself to make time and to you know exert myself to the point where I'm like constantly exhausted more than I already am I think I'd actually kill myself to be honest with you because it's a lot if just with like studying and working full time I'm already like on the edge imagine now imagine now having the pressure to create content on top of that as well so it's like nah like I'll actually do things in my own time um but that's where I'm at. I'm gonna be starting two volunteering positions so that's something else I'm adding on to my roster so you know content creating is really not a priority unfortunately because I've just got so much other things going on but I'm starting two volunteering roles to like coach people coach students in high school and students um in, at university um undergrad so I hope will provide me with more experience and um, I just guess more confidence in coaching um, so that's what I'm currently doing ideally after I finish my course I'm wanting to just be self-employed I'm wanting to start my own coaching services and content create full-time like that is the dream like so I've essentially got two sides to me I think I've got multiple sides to me so obviously my personality that fits in with like fashion lifestyle travel that side of me will be dedicated to this channel and then the other side of me who is into psychology mindfulness and spirituality and flourishing and self-actualization all of that that will be dedicated to my second channel mindful of joy and that's where i'll be obviously providing like coaching services and stuff like that as well so um i definitely have a clear idea as to where i want to be career-wise and i feel like i just need to see things Things through I'm currently just in the process of getting things done so getting my masters done because after my masters I can apply for accreditation as a coach um, I can be um, 
what is it accredited y'all being accredited coach by um the emcc which is the european mentoring and coaching council <laughs> um, so i'll be you know i can apply for accreditation and actually be an accredited coach so i can actually start providing services to people so um yeah that's the plan really um i don't really feel like i've said anything coherent but hopefully everything's tied up and everything makes sense but essentially i'm just living my life i'm just working i'm just studying i'm just living life and just allowing things to be like i'm just allowing myself to live through whatever i'm living through and hope for the best really like that's all you can do in this life is just make decisions and you know just hope for the best and that's where i am um i have been on a few holidays days no i haven't been on a few i went on one holiday this year so far i went to greece with my friends rachel and fabiola and i'll be posting a vlog soon a travel vlog um what else have i done this summer i have um i have visited london a few times yeah i visited london a few times visited on bank holiday earlier on in the year and i also recently went for the bank holiday end of august so carnival kind of weekend which i'll also be posting a vlog for that um that's pretty much all i've done this summer you know that's really all i've done and i'm about to go on holiday in like a month's time for my birthday so i'm super excited it's a super exciting holiday trip so i'm going with my bestie tamira um and that will be fun like that will be so fun and obviously i'll be vlogging that and then i've got another holiday which i'll be going back home to angola in december and i'm actually only going for two weeks which is so sad i definitely want to stay longer so fingers crossed i figure something out by then that can allow me to quit my job and like not go back to work um but that's the plan i have fallen off my my mental health self-care in a long for a long time sorry and i'm just wanting to get back into it really now like i feel like i have like you know let myself go in a sense of like i don't go for like my regular walks anymore i don't really journal as often as i did i don't really pray as often as i did um and it's like things that really contribute to like my self-care and like my mental health and like my connection to god i just haven't been as um consistent or intentional about it and it's definitely something that i'm wanting to change yeah so that's where i'm at so just studying working and trying to figure my stuff out like mentally um that's where i'm at really at the moment um and what you can expect from me um i don't really know really i'm just here to give you a lot an update just so that you know like where i stand and stuff like that what's going on in my life um i guess you can expect some vlogs um some travel vlogs um some fashion content obviously i definitely want to start reviewing some brands like some clothing brands um so i'll start doing that um what else i don't know really i guess you're gonna have to subscribe to find out um but yeah hopefully i'm here to stay and i'm going to be as consistent as i can like i can't promise anything um i'm only human at the end of the day and like i said i'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself um in reality i'm only really coming back because i really miss youtube i just miss creating content and like i haven't finished my degree and i know it's just going to be an extra something that i'm putting into it but like i said there's no pressure on my behalf anyway like i'm not putting pressure on myself i'm just going to create content where i can and upload where i can thank you to everyone who is obviously subscribed right now thank you so much for like you know thank you for just subscribing full stop and like if you watch my videos and like you keep up with me and interact with me like i can only thank you so much like honestly it's just so amazing to know that there's people there that will support you like strangers that you don't even know that will support you like all the way through which is just so amazing and i got some comments like at the beginning of the year um i got one comment in particular and this was on my grandma's um one year I don't know what they call it it'd been one year since she'd passed away and i got a comment on youtube um from like obviously a stranger and they were essentially like just telling me like not to give up and stuff like that and i should definitely get back to creating and i just really took that as a sign i took that as my grandma sending out a message to me and like speaking to me um so that's definitely one of the reasons why 
I'm coming back um, and on top of that I just missed YouTube so I hope that I can you know find my feet again get back into the rhythm of things and begin uploading and I hope that you're all able to stick around and to see me flourish and to see me accomplishing my goals and really do this thing called life properly um, but yeah I think that's it for me I feel like I've been talking for ages but hopefully I made sense hopefully this video can be coherent with everything that I've wanted to say I did try like writing a list of things that I wanted to mention but I just said I'll just sit and talk like whatever comes to mind I'll talk about it um but yeah I think that's it really <laughs> I think that's it so this is gonna be the first video Woo! thank you all so much for obviously watching until the end thank you so much for subscribing if you're already subscribed and if you're not you better hit that subscribe button you better hit that like button and you better put me a nice comment in the comment section i'm joking let me know what you think of the videos let me know what video you're what let me know what kind of content you're wanting to see on my channel like what content you think would be good for me and stuff like that like leave your suggestions in the comment section um yeah let's interact like i don't bite um but yeah that's it from me like thank you so much for watching this video thank you for being present and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thank you ciao